We are out here in Utah again, here at the Willis Creek Trailhead, and today we're gonna to be hiking the Willis Creek Slot Canyon. For a full trail guide of the Willis Creek Slot Canyon, you can check the link in the description below. After parking right over in this area, the trail well marked starts across the road here. Willis Creek Slot is about two and a half miles long, and you can definitely extend it further after that if you want. What's unique about this one is it's uh, great for beginners and we have Juno today, so it's obviously dog friendly as well. So just after about 10th of a mile, 100 yards or so walking, you're gonna enter down into the obvious slot canyon here. Before we jump into this one, just a warning as always, be, be careful in slot canyons. Uh, obviously the water is the biggest thing you're gonna wanna be careful of because if rain comes from upstream and down and all of a sudden you're in it and not prepared, it could be very dangerous. We are here in the end of November though, so it's not really an issue for us today. Um, and this is a great time to visit uh, this part of Utah. As you'll figure out pretty quickly, you're gonna have to cross this a number of times. So I'd recommend having some waterproof shoes or at the very least, uh, something that can get wet. Just leaving that first part there pretty cool definitely you're going to want something that your feet can get wet in we're at the low water time of year and it was still just like almost ankle deep water and ice in there so micro spikes might even be helpful if you're coming here later in the year when things start to freeze over So as we've re-entered the slot here, it's also dried off quite a bit. So the river, I don't know where it went, probably underground, but you can see it's dry again. Pretty cool, definitely not narrow at all so far. Uh, we'll see if that changes, but it's more of a canyon than a slot canyon. Towards the end here, and uh, yeah, looks like this will be the tallest portion of the canyon yet. You can see the scale of things, Jackie and Juno, and just pretty big here. So excited to check this part out.
mini uh, Narrows vibes here. After leaving that section of the Willis Creek Slot Canyon, you're pretty much done at this point. So we're just gonna keep walking, because um, why not? But that is really kind of the end of the slot portion of this uh, canyon here. Eventually it'll just end. Why not explore a bit more and add some distance to this hike? Well, I was wrong. There is definitely more canyon here. Again, I wouldn't call any of this a slot canyon. Speaking of Willis Creek Slot Canyon, definitely dog friendly, kid friendly, all that fun stuff. Um, there's nothing that's even close to being narrow in this so it's a good beginner hike i would say overall as long as you're okay getting your feet a little bit wet at the beginning so this big rock right here pretty much marks the end of the slot canyon portion of it you can keep going and we're going to keep going a little bit just to show you what that looks like but you can't really miss this it's pretty evident how big it is here and uh yeah so at this point the canyon ends this is about a mile and a half into the hike so this will be three miles round trip you turn around here but again we're in no hurry so we're gonna keep checking out this willis creek canyon a bit more this is some pretty cool rock formation here just past that big rock just about a mile and three quarters into the hike and we're gonna turn around here just because yeah i think we're gonna go have some dinner and we don't want to be here in the dark here we are kind of heading back to the car i'm gonna wrap up my hike review of willis creek slot canyon here in southern utah it's actually an escalante national monument which is why i haven't flown the drone uh you can't fly in national monuments but yeah overall this was a really i would say good hike family friendly dog friendly and one you can certainly do most of the year. If you're new to my channel, I do virtual trail guides here in Utah, based in Colorado, and much, much more. So go ahead and hit that subscribe and then bell button to not miss any of my future videos. If you found this video at all helpful, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't and you want more information, check out my website linked in the description and pinned in the comments as well for an A to Z guide on this hike here, Willis Creek Canyon. As always, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you on the next adventure.